What's up, foodie people? Today we're eating at a restaurant with no reviews. So you know what time it is. Create that rating. And this time we got a food truck that has barbecue. I don't know. The picture looks good, but there's no reviews. So I don't know. Let's go find out. Looks like a good looking food truck though. Blinkies Offset Barbecue. I don't know, it kind of looks like an NFT from the front, but also mixed up with like Blink 182, Rockstar, Music City vibes. I don't know, I feel like they're a little confused with what they're going on for here. It's also at a golf course. But either way, barbecue's barbecue, right? Hopefully it's good. Yo, what's up, my man? What's We're up? here to try your food, my man. I love it. I saw you on your Instagram, I'm Brennan. Matt, I appreciate it, man. Welcome to Blinky's office. Thank you so Let's much. See you, all right, so the, let's think about what we want real quick. Obviously, they have their all the time, but I like this one over here, barbecue on demand, which means that they make this fresh today, right here, right now. It's like I, their special. This for is the like day. their specialty. So they got barbecue pork with Nashville hot mojo. I did see something that they have on their Instagram today, which is a uh, bacon wrapped meatloaf. And they also have smoked bologna. Yeah, so they got some interesting stuff here. We're gonna try a little bit of everything. I, I definitely gotta try one of them pork sandwiches. Like, I'm a big pulled pork sandwich guy, I love her now. Ever since moving to Nashville, I love that well, Let's do you? this. So uh, we want to get, I saw on the Instagram you guys have some bacon wrapped meatloaf or something. We do, it's today's special. Alrighty, let's get one of them. Okay. And then, two sides with it. Uh, let's get smoked mac, and cheese. smoked mac and cheese and some coleslaw. You got it. And then we want to get this pork sandwich. Okay, the Nashville Hot Moho or Bob's Original? Oh. You want to try them? Yeah, let's get one of each. Look at this, come on in here. Look at that. Mm, my mouth's already watering. I like a place with free sandwich. <laughs> How long you been in business? We say since 2019, but um, I've been cooking barbecue for about six years now. Oh, amazing. Um, so you've mastered it. Taking it more seriously, I'd say, for the last four. Okay, so, right on, right on. So um, we... All right, so over here, my right, your left, we have natural hot mo. It's kind of my signature. Okay, and then um, this original. This over here is the original. This is more true southern, sweet, delicious pork. Okay. This is, and as I say, natural heat to Miami Beach. Okay, I like that, I like that. Hey, let me try this hot, the hot one right now. Mm. Okay, I just got some real good flavor. Spicy? It's heating up. It's, 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 it's a so slow ticker. It, it falls on the back end. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, it's right when you put it down. It's not like real hot or anything. It's like when you swallow it, you start to feel a little bit, but it's not like too hot or anything like that. I'd give it a hot scale four. It's real It's real calm, but it's tasty. Let me try this. Ooh. Mmm. Yeah, I like the hot. Let's okay. do that hot one. You got it. You want the coleslaw right on top? Yeah. That's how it comes. Throw it on there. All right, so what side do you want with the uh, hot mojo sandwich? Let's try that, the cot salad. Cot salad, you said salad? Jeez, sun's hot. By the way, this is a good time to tell you, we only have a few of these hats left. If you want one, it protects you from the sun, brennantaylor.com. Ooh, baby. Oh, yeah. So there's your Nashville hot mojo with cot salad. Ooh, baby, that mac and cheese, we should have doubled up on that. <laughs> yeah, we like to have cheesy mac and cheese. I love that. Have you ever seen a white spider? Get it off, it damn near. What are you leaving it there for? I'm trying to film it for the viewers. They don't want to see it? I'm going to die. I'm going to become a Spider-Man. Oh. <laughs> oh, baby. Good Lord. That's something I've never seen before. Bacon wrapped meatloaf. Oh, baby. Look at oh, that. Yeah. That's going to be good. Oh, yeah. Cheese, bacon wrapped smoked meatloaf. Looks real good. So far, so good. What else can we get for you? Um, Snickerdoodle banana pudding. Ooh, banana pudding. Yeah. Okay. Banana pudding, yes. And then is there a way that we can just get like, um, because we don't need a whole thing of it, but like maybe like a piece of chicken, like, and you can just charge us some something for that? Gotcha. There's something that's on the menu, or excuse me, there's something that's not on the menu. I'm producing my inventory, so it's my garnish. My garnish is a family recipe. I call them Ruthie cinnamon pickles. Ruthie was my grandmother, my oh, mom's okay. mom. I'm gonna give you guys some. Do you guys like pickles? I love pickles. Yeah. You ever had a cinnamon pickle? Never. Never. Okay, so I tell everybody, it will be the best thing you eat all week. Okay. Uh -huh. Unless you eat another cinnamon pickle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you know, I'm down for that little challenge. Look, I love a pickle and I love cinnamon. Never had them together. We're gonna find out. Get that last one. Like quarter. Ooh, wait. Oh, looks real good. Any barbecue sauce? Spicy yes, please. Regular? Let's get uh, some spicy. Yeah. Actually, let's get one spicy and one regular. Try them both. Spicy has the marking. Perfect. We're gonna be eating real good. Yeah, right we're now. gonna be eating real good. We're taking some of this home. Oh, that color. Wow. Interesting. All right. So these are those. But right now, we gotta do a real reaction. 
Oh my okay. god, we're gonna do we're gonna, it. We're gonna do it on the fly. Let's do it, let's do it. So a cinnamon pickle. Look at, Look at this, y'all. All I ever really think of when I think of cinnamon is like cinnamon powder and it's usually brown. <laughs> Red pickle. Let's try it. Oh my, how is this a pickle? <laughs> That's delicious. Starts with seven pounds of cucumbers. Oh my God. It's got the consistency of like a watermelon, but it's tasty like cinnamon. Oh my gosh, it's, it's, this is gonna be dancing. I like this. I want you to take a quick bite of this, Jake. This is nice. I've never had anything like that. I'm gonna throw the rest of it down. Throw it down. Oh my that God. That is crazy, right? It's weird, mm. but it's tasty. I like it a lot. I like that. <laughs> That's something I could have like a jar of. All right, you guys, so we got all the food. That was the owner. He was a really cool dude. But listen, we're the honest bros, and we're gonna be completely honest when we create this rating. So let's go try this, come on. This thing looks incredible, but I don't wanna lose it. Ew, is that a hair? Come here. That looks like a hair to me, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is that? Yep. Yeah. He didn't even have hair though. That is true. Who the f's hair is that? <laughs> is that maybe the pig's hair? I don't know. Ugh. Alrighty, y'all. It is time. Let's dig in, okay? So the first thing I say we start with is this meatloaf, okay? Because this is today's special. I'm excited about it. Jake's excited about it. Let's dig in together and really give you guys that honest review. I will say, I don't know if I've ever had meatloaf. Anyways, these cheap plasticware is gonna be a little tough. So the bacon has like what looks to be like a caramelized topping to it. Maybe it's barbecue, maybe it's the fat, I don't know. But either way, that looks damn good. Oh, it smells like it's sweet. Let's right, go for it. Let's go for it. That's nice. Mouthful, to say the least. It has good flavor, but the bacon, I feel like, needs to be cooked a little bit longer. Like, it's not I feel crispy. Like, yeah, if the bacon was a little bit more crispy, it would hit a little better, but I think the flavoring on the bacon, whatever that, that caramelized thing on there, is more of the flavor than the, the meatloaf the below. Meatloaf, the meatloaf below itself is just kind of a little bit on the drier side, yeah. if I'm being honest. Like, it needs more oomph But maybe to it. we're supposed to put sauce on Yeah, let's try to put it in the barbecue. Is it hitting better in the barbecue? Mm. That's a little better already, see? I think it just was to add barbecue sauce to everything. All right, let's try this mac, okay? Because it looked extra creamy. All right, here we go. It is really cheesy, but it needs more it needs, flavor. It has no, it, oh my God, I'm feeling sad already. Sweet guy, but the mac and cheese needs something. Like it needs more butter or it needs more pepper. salt or pepper. Like it needs a seasoning to it. Like it just kind of tastes like plain ma macaroni shells with some cheese on it. I don't know, man. I'm, right, get, I'm getting worried. I'm, I'm, I know, I'm getting worried too, because he was such a good guy. He was a good guy, but we're the Shit. honest bros. You That's go for good. the slaw, because I don't like slaw. Oh God, that's good. Is it? It's good. Yeah, I am. It's gonna be fire in that sandwich. Whatever seasoning is on top of all that. They need that all over the freaking macaroni. All over everything else. Let's move it on. Oh, I have anxiety. I hope, I, I hope, I hope. Like, oh my God. Look, just, just because of that, I say we go for the chicken first before the sandwich. Okay. Let's try this chicken leg. Let's hope for it. Okay, so right here we got chicken and a thigh. So I'm gonna bite the chicken, you're gonna bite the thigh. Oh, chicken's good. Chicken's real good. Chicken he did right. Oh. That's a perfectly cooked chicken. Chicken is easily swayed one or the other way, either too dry or not cooked enough. This is cooked to perfection No, right he there. knows what he's doing with this chicken. It's juicy on the inside, mm -hmm. good flavor. Messy. Messy as hell, <laughs> finger looking good. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay, we're, okay, we're back on. We're, we're back on. We're, we're really rooting for this guy. We're rooting like, for him, but we're not gonna lie. No, the thing we, is, we never want to like do a restaurant dirty. Like, right, right. especially when they have no reviews, obviously like he said he's been doing it forever, but why is there no reviews? I don't know. I, I don't know, but let, let's keep this in mind because we don't want to give away too much so that the audience knows our reviews before, okay? Let's keep that in mind. We're creating the rating, but we gotta still do that at the end. So, yeah. so far, you know, we're up there. I don't know, I don't know what I'm not gonna- I don't know where I'm at at all. Oh my God, so the one thing he did say is that they love to give you a generous portion for a cheap price. You know, all of this food was 30 bucks. Yeah. That's a good deal. Either way, I'm gonna try this. I will say the bun is not warm. It's not like, toasted at all. It literally came right out of the wrapper and just, I mean, the plastic wrap from grocery store and they threw it together. So that's a little sad. I wish it would be hot. Mmm, that's fire. That's actually really good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I that was worried. Coleslaw. Yeah, coleslaw, coleslaw, coleslaw would, helps it, it there. It helps it there. Because when I first tried it, it was good, but it was I still needed like it needed like a sauce to it. Here with the coleslaw really adds to the mix. How was it with the barbecue? It's real good. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. I will say, I wish he would have like toasted the bun and like I made everything. Like, give it us something. Yeah, made it a little bit hotter. I don't know. I, I, the sandwich itself is like room temperature. But I will say, it's good. It is good. Like it has great flavor. It does. You can feel that Nashville heat heating up in your mouth. Mm. I just wish there was a little bit of slight changes that could improve it and make it a lot better. Like the toasted bun. Mm -hmm. I'm curious on whatever this cot salad is. Cot salad. Oh. Party foul. It might. It has to have some type of like dressing on it, because if not, it's just cucumber, onions, and tomato. Mmm. Well, how do you use my fork, huh? Your fork's down flat away. <laughs> Oops. I don't know what's on that, but is it good? It's good. I don't know. I'm just a little suspect of it. Why does the tomato look like bacon almost? It's like lemony, vinegary. Mmm, vinegar. The cucumbers are definitely like marinated in something. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's not bad. It's not bad. What's next? Banana pudding. We're gonna try this banana pudding. You know, Jake and I love a good banana pudding. You can tell by our face right when we eat. We're not gonna exaggerate, we're not gonna lie. If it's good, you gotta show it on your face, yeah. okay? Because this is how the people are gonna know. Damn, that's all whipped cream over there. All right. Oh, this is better than the last spot. No, the last spot was Waldo's. Remember how good that place was? But this is pretty good too. This though. is pretty good, but hold on. Oh, I got crunchies in mine. Mm. Yep, there's mm. some breadcrumbs or something in there. Oh. It's good, it's good banana pudding. I wouldn't say it's the best banana pudding though. I like that other place better. Oh, I don't know, I kinda like this one. This has mm. some good banana pudding. I'm gonna finish this one. I think it's good, don't get me wrong. I'm done. I just remembered that the hair was in the sandwich. <laughs> and I'm still eating the sandwich. We got a 20 minute drive home to think of how we feel yeah, about right. this food. Does it give our stomach an ache? Are we feeling good? Are we feeling gross? We'll let you know all of that as soon as we get home and we create this rating. So for now, we'll see you on the tripod. Let go. All right, you guys, so we're back home. We drove 20 minutes. How do you feel? I'm okay. I feel all right. Like, I don't feel like 100%. Like, there is some part of me that wants to go take a fatty right now, but maybe that's from other things I ate today. Either way, now it's time to create that rating. So let's leave these reviews and then we'll uh, converse about it. All right. So I'm the first to review and I left a three star. And this is what I said. The food was good. Nothing to blow your socks off, but the owner Mike was a real sweet man. The food truck is at a golf course country club, so makes for a good easy eat if you're out golfing. The Nashville hot pork sandwich was tasty when dosed in barbecue sauce, but the other things that we had, like the meatloaf and the mac and cheese, they lacked flavor. The reason I'm leaving a three star also was because I found a hair in my sandwich. Sad face. Kind of sad about it, because it was still tasty, in parenthesis. I still ate it. I hope that Mike still succeeds. I'm an honest guy. Jake, it's your turn. I left a four star, and this is what I said. Tried Blinkies for the first time today, and well, it was good. Tried a little bit of everything, and my favorite was his chicken. Juicy, tender, and it had good flavor. His sides were great. The coleslaw and beans, the mac was a little bland. Would I come back? Yeah, maybe if I was driving by. But the owner himself was really nice. Originally was gonna leave a three star, but bumped it up just because the owner was such an awesome dude. Gave it to him, you know, had to. So now I kind of feel bad after hearing your review, but like, it's I'm being honest, like nothing really blew us out of the water. It didn't, and we usually finish everything, and we didn't finish it. We didn't finish anything. The hair kind of threw me off. On the drive back, I did feel a little like weird, like a little woozy, if you will. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I gave him what I gave him because I felt like he deserves Yeah, I mean, to... he is a cool guy. I can't be wrong. And usually Jake's the hard one, but this time I had to just, I had to leave it for what it was. You guys saw us all eat it and there was really no oomph to anything no. that we ate. And you know, it is what it is. I still hope he succeeds and I hope he figures his things out. Yeah, and I would love to go back. And if he does can figure it out, I would go back and try it again. Yeah, but I won't be going out of my way anytime soon. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, pick up some merch, brennantaylor.com. And until next time, we'll see you foodies later. Peace. Peace. I'm so exhausted. I'm always nauseous. Praying that I'll stop this.